prison for telling others about Jesus. I don't know why they didn't shoot me. The interrogations are the only time I am out of solitary. I am losing hope and fear I have been forgotten. I recite Bible verses to myself, but the words are getting harder and harder to remember. I can handle the torture, the starvation, but I desperately need my Bible. Every day I pray over and over for God to give me a Bible. Now I have my chance. The interrogations have ended and the guards trust me to go into the jungle to gather firewood. Working as fast as I can, I will collect two days' worth of firewood. I'll bring one bundle back and leave the second bundle in the woods. This is what I need to do. It is very risky, but God is answering my prayer. I will risk everything to have a Bible. I don't want to leave my wife, but I have to or she will be in danger. Leaving her is so hard. God has answered my prayer. I have a Bible, but I must be careful. They found my Bible, but I would not give up. I will bring in more Bibles. I will read God's word every chance I get. Then the letters came. Letters from me. Letters from Christians all over the world. God not only answered my prayer for a Bible. He let me know I am not forgotten. แล้วก็ขอบคุณพระเจ้าขอบคุณอนาพี่น้องทั่วโลกที่อธิษฐานอ่อนวอนเพื่อโอ้และก็มู่คู่ที่น้องเยตะคุกแล้วก็ขอบ